Welcome to Viking Basketball with head coach Jace Coburn as the Vikings are home for an extended period. Four straight home games coming up right here at Viking Pavilion. Thursday the 20th against Montana. Saturday, Montana State. Monday, Idaho. And next Thursday, Southern Utah. Four in a row, all at 7 p.m. right here at Viking Pavilion. And they can also be seen on ESPN+. Plus. Coach, you played five Big Sky Conference games. One at home, four on the road. So you must be thrilled with this stretch coming up. Yeah, like you said, we've—I mean, majority of our games in conference play have been on the road so far, just with everything that's went down, and and uh, excited to get back home. You know, um, four home games in a row is a great opportunity for us to uh, get a home court advantage. And as you look at the opponents coming up, Montana, uh, four and two in the Big Sky, Montana State, four and two, Southern Utah, who you just saw on Monday. Uh, right at the top of the Big Sky, uh, three of those four uh, among the best in the Big Sky. So a big challenge lies uh, here in the coming week. Yeah, we know you know Montana's coming up first, and and uh, they got almost their whole entire team back from last year. So um, you know, and Coach DeCure does a great job at each and every year. So we know they're really talented. They're a really good team, and and uh, sa same with Montana State. They got a lot of guys back, and Coach Sprinkle does a great job. So. Uh, this week, you know, will we'll be tough. It'll, it'll, it'll be a good test for us, though. Okay, and as we look at the Vikings, they went 16 days without playing a game. Finally came back last Saturday, a game at Sacramento State. Portland State comes away with a win, 67-62. And then, as I referenced, uh, Monday at Southern Utah, it was a one-point game with five minutes to play against the defending Big Sky champion, Coach. How do you evaluate those two games after such a long layoff? Uh, I'm guessing you feel pretty good about what you saw from your team. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Sac State gave us an opportunity to get back out there after being off for so long, and um, we made some adjustments to things that we wanted to do offensively and, and uh, gave us a pretty good identity, and I think everybody uh, kind of knows what we're, what we're trying to do on our team. And, and uh, obviously, yeah, the Southern Utah game was one-point game at the defending regular season champs uh, place. And uh, they went on a little run there the last couple minutes and got us. But, uh, you know, overall, I mean, our guys are playing hard and, and uh, you know, we're, we're making strides in the right direction for sure. And uh, Portland State uh, turned it up a little bit offensively. We've been looking for that, Coach. I'm going to reference maybe a couple of players. But uh, getting that uh, increased production in those two games certainly had to make a difference for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, this whole thing is a process. It's gonna, it's, it was gonna, always going to take some time. Um, you know, we had some returning guys and some newer guys and, and uh, obviously a new offensive system. So, you know, for everybody. Um, so it was going to take some time to get going, and I, I think we got it going now and, and to look to just keep building off of uh, last week. All right, and as I mentioned, a couple of players who, who have turned it up, Zeke Alley, uh, season-high 13 points at Sac State. He got 16 at Southern Utah. Uh, tell us a little bit. He kind of, uh, he's, he's kind of a ball handler, but he's a shooter too. Tell us a little bit about what he offers. Yeah, no, it's like you said, like he, he does a really good job of creating plays for other people. Like, you know, he had five assists against Southern Utah too. I mean, that, that, that kind of went, you know, under the radar a little bit and because of how well he shot it. Um, but, you know, we, we, we know he can shoot it. He does it every day in practice. And we know he can get it on the floor and get to the rim and make, make the right play. And he's an awesome kid to coach and uh, a lot of fun. And he's made a lot of strides. And I think finally he's, you know, just starting to get comfortable now. Um, you know, with just being a newer guy, and, and uh, yeah, so yeah, he's been doing great for us. And another guy who uh, kind of similar in terms of his production had a good weekend. Michael Carter led the team in assists at Sacramento State, and then got 15 at Southern Utah. Another guy I know you look to for both ball handling and scoring. Yeah, MC's got a really good feel for the game. You know, um, he takes a lot of you know good shots and makes the right play and take you know. Uh, makes the right passes, makes the right reads, and uh, can change the game defensively too. He's got awesome length and and um, you know can really get after it. So you know, it, it, same deal, same deal. You know, he's getting comfortable, I think, finally, and and really improving. So um, looking forward to this week, though. And Khalid Thomas, uh, another guy who's uh, producing for you, double double at Sac State, 16 uh, at Southern Utah. And I know you talk about defending and length, and he's he's kind of your guy in that area also producing a lot here in recent games. Yeah, Khalid has really stepped up, especially when uh, we had a bunch of guys go out and, and uh, you know, he's carried it on through that, even with guys coming back. So, you know, obviously he shot the ball well against Southern Utah and, and um, yeah, he's, he's really played really well. He had those back-to-back double-double games and, and uh, played well at Southern Utah. So, you know, he's starting to get it going too. I, I think, um, you know, there's gonna be some other guys too that are gonna step up and get it going and, and uh, it'll be a fun, fun back end. 
And it, as you talk about guys stepping up and getting it going, you're close to full health, not all the way there, getting very close. But one thing we saw, Damian Squire, long-awaited return. I know that makes you very happy. Again, a ball handler, uh, but a guy who can score, and he saw his first action uh, last weekend. I know you're thrilled to have him in the lineup. Uh, tell Viking fans uh, what he's going to bring to the team. I think first off is uh, he made a tremendous recovery from his surgery. Um, you know, just watching him progress every single day, how serious he took took it to get back. Um, it was awesome. Like he, he did an awesome job uh, rehabbing and getting back. And you know, as a player, he he's going to bring a lot to the table for us. Um, you know, ball handling, shooting, scoring, passing, defense, the whole deal. So. Really excited to have him back. Um, you know, uh, got his first first minutes against Sac State and then uh, Southern Utah. So um, working him back in, and and uh, but yeah, <laughs> we're real excited to have him back. All right, and as we look at the schedule, that game uh, last Saturday at Sacramento State had been 16 days off, but that game started a run of 10 games in 22 days, probably about as many as you've ever had in a three-week span. Um, how do you keep your players fresh? How will you keep your players fresh going forward because essentially you have about one day of practice leading into each game. I think the biggest thing is is we have depth. I, th I feel like our team is built for something like this to happen. Um, you know, because we've got a lot of different guys who can step up on, on any given night and some nights it's going to be some guys night and some nights it won't. Um, but I think with our team is is we could hit a lot of different angles. Um, so yeah, I you know, I think our team is going to be ready for this for this big stretch for sure. And as a coach, how do you manage that? Because uh, we're all humans. It's a little bit managing personalities and egos. Uh, uh, one guy has a good night. Maybe another guy doesn't play as much. And then the next night, uh, the roles reverse. Uh, that's got to be a great puzzle for you to try to put together. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's all about uh, team success. Um, you know, and, and obviously, sometimes you're going to lose. But everybody just you know, keep the uh, team in view first. Um, and everybody knows and understands that this is a big stretch. Um, there's going to be some nights where some guys play, some guys don't, some guys score, some guys don't. And I think everybody understands that, um, you know, and just keeping the team first, uh, you know, will carry us through it. And would you say uh, looking ahead to this this uh, stretch run, uh, keys to your success, uh, team first? Yeah, for sure. I would say team first and, and just uh, stepping up and being ready, you know. Um, be ready so you don't have to get ready, right? So, uh, you know, with... Uh, Everything that's gone on, you know, and it feels like a new season also, um, I think our guys are up for the challenge. All right, the Vikings at home, four in a row, Thursday, Montana, Saturday night, Montana State, Monday, Idaho, and on the 27th, Southern Utah. It's a great run of basketball coming up for Portland State. Come on out and see the Vikings. For all your information on Vikings basketball, go to GoVikes.com.